Looking again for the planet Venus and it's getting exciting. A beautiful sunset but clouds may cause problem. Some camp trails from an airplane I think. Yeah, that's the airplane. So in this picture I don't see Venus. Venus should be somewhere uh, around here. But I don't see it. So let's hope that will become visible. You look at the evening and you say, oh, what a beautiful, colorful sky. Yes, beautiful, colorful, but it has blocked the Venus, it has blocked the Mercury, and the tree has blocked the moon. Bloody, everything is blocked. <laughs> So the mercury is between these two pylons. This one is chimney, the other one is a crane. Uh, just where the center is. Here. That's the where the Venus should be. But that cloud, dark cloud has covered it. So it's not possible to see it. Hallelujah, Venus is coming out. So I'm just going to use the, the telescope and see. I saw with the binocular. Let's see if I can catch it. So I've decided to use silver top. This is a um, plus or 10 millimeter silver top equal to the celestron. They're all the same. This is the 70 millimeter silver, silver top. And now I'm going for a, my favorite cheap eyepiece ram stand, symmetrical ram stand 4 millimeter. And this is the Otoscopy 4.4. Eight, no brand name, anything. So I'm not going to change it for the ultimate. And this is a two millimeter eyepiece. The image quality is very good when you look through it, but when you photograph it, it's, it's just shake of hand and everything. It makes it really not as good as, or n not any good. <laughs> yeah, but the image quality is good when you look through the eyepiece itself. This is an unbranded uh, eyepiece, but this. Uh, Originally is a sky watcher. I got it in a pack of 15, 9, 5 and 2 millimeter eyepieces. So really good. And now we are looking at the mercury at the center. Hopefully you can see it. If you cannot see it, I just take a few photos. And that's the view of the mercury to the 10 millimeter eyepiece. I love this 10 millimeter silver stuff. Silver, silver tops are really good. I like them. I have 20 millimeter, 70 millimeter, 10 and 5. Now to the Ramstein symmetrical 4 millimeter eyepiece. Remember, most of the discoveries in the history of astronomy were made by the Ramstein eyepieces. They were the standard, the best eyepieces available. Even now, they are very good. I don't see any reason why we should not use Ramsteins. Look at the image quality, as good as the puzzle, at least in the center of the field at least in this range this is four millimeter one you can hardly find anything that can beat this uh, at this price range for anything better you have to spend uh, probably hundreds of pounds more now we are looking through a uh, orthoscopic eyepiece good quality image 4.8 millimeter one. Unbranded, cheap as chips. Two millimeter eyepiece. I'm hardly able to make anything out of it except that there is a phase probably. It definitely a face to here. And now we have the moon, finally. And now we are looking through the 17 millimeter silver top celestron crown at the crescent of the moon. 
through the leaves so it's not very clear and if you look carefully you can see actually the earth shine the reflection of the earth uh, daylight over the moon It's like moonshine on the earth. It's a beautiful moon. This is the crescent of the moon. My first view of the planet Jupiter from inside the house. I don't need to go out. It came now. It's four o'clock. And that's the planet Jupiter. You can see it. <laughs> I'm going to put the telescope now and just look at it. Yeah, it's coming back to the sky. I have to go out for this. Let's <laughs> just see it. <laughs> now I can see it again from, from within the house. We are in the lockdown, remember? <laughs> and uh, it's a coronavirus lockdown. So that's there. Yeah, windowsill astronomy again. And that's the Jupiter with four Galilean moons. I'm using the silver top uh, Celestron clone 17 millimeter eyepiece. Short eye relief eyepieces, to my surprise, are better for astrophotography by mobile phone. It's better, you have better control holding them against the camera. Okay, the, uh, the star, the satellite, to the extreme left of the planet is Callisto, I think. And the closest one, I think, is, uh, if I'm not wrong, it can be Aya. And the brightest one to the right is Ganymede. And hallelujah, we have now the planet uh, Saturn. <laughs> it just emerged from the wall, behind the wall. The wall is the line, dark line to the right. <laughs> And it is, you can see the elliptical shape of it because of the um, rings. And now this is Saturn with a 10 millimeter silver top eyepiece. Now back to the Jupiter. Uh, actually, in the uh, visually, I can see the belts 
on the planet this probably you can see something no it's too bright uh, here and eye is more sensitive than the camera I can see the belts on this image belts of Jupiter probably you can see oh yeah you can see if you look carefully you may see 